everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great summer holidays, but as we all know, and we're all probably dreading, um, the school term is about to start again, whether that's you going to uni, college, or back to school. Um, September is fast approaching, so I have been getting together um, my stationery and bits and bobs ready to go back to, I'm going to a new college in London this September. So yeah, that's very exciting. Um, there's something that I always look forward to. Going back to school, I think probably like every year, if I get a new stationery, I'm excited to go back just to use it. Like not really excited to go back to school for school, but I am excited to use my new stationery and like my new pencil case. Like I get excited over that sort of thing. So I have definitely been searching around to find the perfect stuff this year because I just wanted it to be really nice. Okay, so I'm going to start with my bag. Um, I got this bag, it's coming up quite blue on the camera, but it's actually like um, a gray slash duck egg blue bag. It's got a zip that goes all the way along the top, which was something that I needed to have. Like quite a lot of the bags this year I find have um, open tops or like only a zip that goes part way. Like it needs, for me, being in London, it needs to be really secure. So I found this on Bershka, which is a shop and a website. Um, I really like their stuff and I think this was only like 22 pounds or something. So um, under 25 pounds, including shipping. And it just looks really nice. Like it feels nice. It's like a leather. It's got um, the little gold studs on the bottom and gold detailing which is sort of like a theme as you will see in this haul um i've gone for like a pink blue and gold theme and um, this also has the long strap which is useful it's got a bit tangled but um i'll probably use both straps um so yeah okay so i'm going to start with the stuff in the bag which will make sense Okay, so the first thing is a folder. I got this from Tiger. It's pink and it's got little blue elastics. This basically I'm using to keep all my documents that I need to take with me on Wednesday as I'm going for an enrolment day. It has like my certificates that I need to take um, and my enrolment forms, but this will be handy throughout the year um, if you have loose pieces of paper or task sheets to keep them all in here. Uh, it keeps everything together and stops it from getting like really crumpled and bent. Did I say it was from Tiger and it was only a pound? So they had lots of different colors. Okay, so the next thing I'm absolutely in love with and it is this notebook. Look at that. It is again, blue that matches my bag. So this is sort of the color it is. If the bag's not showing up, it's like this color, um, gold, pink. And this has um, three sections. So it's just a notebook, but it has like these little um, things, dividers, um, which separates up the books. So if you had different subjects and you wanted to separate it like that, or different teachers for classes, you could separate it. I think this was from Typo. If that's not a website and that's like something else, I will have it all linked down below anyway. And I think this was only about five or six pounds. Um, so it was quite good. And I just love the gold and everything about this. Okay, so I then have a second notebook. I got this one from Primark. It's a marble and gold binded notebook again. So they go quite nicely together. Um, I think so anyway. Um, so this one again, just a lined notebook and this was only £2.50. Um, really easy to get hold of. They also had matching planners, but I already had a planner at that point and I prefer my one I think so yeah got one of them just because I am gonna have two classes or two teachers I think so I could separate the notebooks like that or or I'll probably get through them anyway in the year so, so the last thing in the bag before I move on to stationery is this um, planner so when you're out of school I'm like when I was at school they gave us planners so when I started college um, I had to get my own and this year I wanted to get a really nice one it is quite bulky like I would say that I don't know how to show it's quite bulky but um it's pink and it has this like uh iridescent no like I don't know it's like those things you used to look through and turn and it would be all like you can see you can see what I mean it's shiny and it's silver and it is from Bando 
I'm not sure that that was the website. Anyway, it'll all be linked down below. Oh no, this was from ASOS, that was it. I got this off ASOS. Um, and this says it includes, um, let's just have a look, let's just have a look. Um, so, at the very front you have like some cool stickers and a little thing. And I, and I opened it and I was like, have I ordered the right thing? This looks like some sort of activity book. So as you go through, it starts in August, has these cute pages. Um, it firstly has like the month planner, so you can um, plan out your whole month if you want to do that. And then there's a few note pages as well, and then you have your weekly um, weekly diary. So I quite like this, quite a lot of the um, diaries that I found were one page per day, but I thought that's going to make it really thick. Now I know this is really thick anyway, but I didn't want it to be even thicker. So as you can see down the side, it has all the months, little tabs to choose your months there we go this actually goes all the way through from august this year to december next year so i thought it was only going to go through to like july um to take me through like the academic year but it actually goes all the way through to december which is quite good so it's very cute and i would definitely be getting a lot of use out of it oh it has a little pocket at the back with something in it you can keep bits of loose paper in there i guess and this was £20 on ASOS, but you can use student discount codes and things like that to make it cheaper. It was quite a lot, I suppose, for a diary, but I did want something that was nice. So I just thought I'm just going to get it. Okay, so I guess I will start with my pencil case. Um, I looked quite a lot to find quite a nice pencil case. And I found this one in WH Smith. So it's like a navy dark blue pattern and it has like a rose goldy zip. Um, it's quite a good size I would say I didn't want a really big pencil case um, and my bag isn't too big either um, just because I'm going to be going through London I didn't want a big heavy bag I wanted something that's quite manageable and I've taken it on the tube and stuff so I don't want it to be too heavy and big so I got this pencil case I think this was like seven pounds or seven pound fifty so it wasn't too expensive okay so the next place I went to was Wilkinson's they have so much back to school stuff there i would definitely recommend going there i went in there and picked up a few things the first thing that i picked up was these pens just the bic bic pens bic pens i don't know but they've got little grippy bits on them which is quite cool i don't think i've seen them before so i picked up these i think they were like one pound fifty or something definitely gonna need black pens <laughs> 50 it's a cute pen in a little look i hope it's a black pen and not a blue pen oh look at that so pretty this cool pen which is very exciting um i'm really hoping i don't lose this i will be annoyed if i lose this it's black okay cool nice i've never had like a fancy pen and it feels really cool right so a fancy pen wasn't really necessary but i did really like it i then discovered well my sister actually discovered these cute little pots of things now i probably didn't need these but this one is like a little um, plastic jar with a little bunny on the top and it's got loads of little rose gold um, paper clips in it. Um, so I thought this would be cute for my little desk um, to keep all my supplies. I won't actually take these with me to college. I'll just keep them at home. But it's still stationary and I thought I'd show it anyway. And then there's this little owl one. Can you see him? And inside it's got those um, clips. They're like the folder clips or ones like to mark pages. Um, it's already £2 each, so I thought, why the hell not? I will find some. Follow the gold, rose gold theme. So then I looked online and found that Paper Chase have a whole load of rose gold stationery as well. So I went there and picked up a few bits. So I got these pencils. Can you see? Are like gold, rose gold pencils. They got the little rubber on the end. Um, I saw that Poundland also have some, but I didn't know how good they were going to be. And they had like, they didn't have the rubber on the end. Um, so I went for these ones. These were £3, um, which I suppose is quite a lot for five pencils, but they're really cute and I just love them. They come in this little pencil case as well. 
you can actually reuse this packaging because it's got a little zippy bit and you can take them out one thing I do need to do is sharpen them which is probably going to be a bit annoying like I prefer getting pencils that are already sharpened but it's okay I'll sit there and sharpen them all on the first day of college <laughs> They then had a little matching rose gold sharpener. This is so cute. Like, I've never seen this before. They're always in silver. There we go. But um, this was only £2.50. And I absolutely love it. Like, I wish it had a little um, box. Like, it was like a box one. And so you, it sharpens it into a little container. Because this is just going to go everywhere, isn't it? And it's going to end up in my pencil case. And there's going to be pencil sharpenings all in my pencil case. But I had to make a compromise. I didn't want an ugly one. So I just got a normal sharpener. <laughs> thing I got was these little cute scissors. This is also from Paper Chase. And it was £2.50. My battery is running low. Um, but we are almost finished. So these are little scissors. They get this little guard on them and they're clear so I couldn't find any gold scissors so I thought these will do um, and they say a little paper chase on them I have is a little miniature stapler from Primark this was only 90p I thought I saw it and I thought I may as well get one it might come in handy the only thing is it doesn't have any staples in it so I'm probably gonna have to steal some from my mum's stapler or something but I thought this could come in handy at college so I thought I'd get it anyway everything i really hope you did enjoy this video everything will be linked down below so make sure you go check it out um please like subscribe if you're new and i will see you next time bye